Well, it looks like it finally might be over and all this recount nonsense may be put to rest. Today, a federal judge overturned an, a lower court ruling that allowed recounts in Michigan that Jill Stein had requested. They said that Jill Stein had no standing, which is exactly what I've been saying for the last three weeks. Jill Stein doesn't have any skin in the game. She doesn't have any standing in asking for a recount. No amount of recount is going to change the outcome of the election. So why did we even allow this? Recounts should only be used in very rare occurrences when two candidates are have a very narrow margin. Recount should only be done when the actual recount may affect the outcome of the election. And even then, they're very dangerous because they introduce a perfect time for manipulation of the system. But even worse, they cast doubt on our, on our democratic process. Just like Hillary said, if, if you question the outcome of an election, especially when it's unfounded and there's no evidence of fraud, and all you have going for you is, is baseless conspiracy theories, then it casts doubt on our very democratic process. And a lot of people want to delegitimize Trump, which is really why we have these recounts in the first place. They are to make this election, just like the election in 2000, where Al Gore lost to George Bush, and they want to be able to do the exact same thing and forever tell us that they were robbed of... of the election because of evil Republicans that stole the election. Well, for one thing, we shouldn't give the Republican Party that much credit. They're not as smart as the as the left tries to make them out. There's no way that the Republican Party is going to pull something like that off. And even the Russians, they say that that we that they hacked the machines most of these machines weren't even connected to the internet but i guess that vladimir putin has some really cool laser beam that will change the the ionosphere and reverse the polarity of these machines that will make them hackable even though they're not connected to the internet yeah this is just conspiracy theories and you know I don't remember the press giving this much credence to other types of conspiracies like Obama's birth certificate and things like that. Why should they give credence to these types of conspiracy theories? Just because they don't like Trump. But that's not the reason to give credence to these. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe I'll make more. Um, tell me how I did and please feel free to comment. Thank you and have a good night.